a needle. In order for this to happen, the rotary hook must be set up to a certain main shaft degree. This is what we call rotary hook timing. In this video, I'm going to show how to remove and install the rotary hook. First, let's have a quick look of the rotary hook. As you can see in this video, this is the rotary hook. This is the hook. These three screws are what's holding it. In order to do this operation, make sure your machine is off. Carefully remove the needle plate by taking off the two screws on the top. Remove the two screws underneath the rotary hook cover. Carefully remove the rotary hook cover. Remove the bobbin case from the hook assembly. Then we will need to remove the rotary hook bracket. Then you need to loosen the three screws around the rotary hook. In order to expose the three screws on the rotary hook, turn the main shaft black knob counterclockwise until each screw is exposed. Carefully remove the rotary hook. In order to install the rotary hook into the machine, make sure your machine shaft is at 100 degrees. Carefully insert the rotary hook in the bar of the main shaft. Make sure to turn the rotary hook into this position. Now let's replace the rotary hook bracket. Return the bracket back to its place. Gently tighten the screws. This is how it should look after the rotary hook installation. Now carefully turn the block knob counterclockwise until the needle goes down and the dial shows 200 degrees. The starting point of the hook must be at the back of the needle. Make sure that the needle is not touching the hook. This is a view facing the machine. This is an example of the timing position with a rotary hook and needle without the machine. This is how it looks in the machine. And this is how it looks from the back of the machine. After you have properly set up the hook timing, tighten the screws around the rotary hook.